Hey y'all, Eliana with Why Not Redesign here. Thank you for being here again today. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be working on a little cabinet that I started to work on a couple of weeks ago and completely lost all desire to finish it. I lost my inspiration on it. It is a piece that I was working on for a company that I do content creation for and it just didn't feel like the color that I had chosen for it at the time was the right color. So today, I woke up with that in my eye. I don't know what's going on, but I decided to stay home. And so I pulled that little cabinet again and I said, you know what, maybe I'll work on this one today. So come with me and let's refinish it. So here's the before of the piece that I'll be working on and the colors that I used to begin with. They were in the brown family and in my opinion, they just do not go well with this piece. So this here is the little piece that I'm gonna be working on today again. And as you guys can see, I had began a process, um, some sort of blending that I was going for, but those colors just don't work for me. They look very pretty. I just don't think it's the right choice for that piece. So I'm gonna be working with Starstruck today, which is a beautiful blue that reminds me very much of the baseball team of where I live here in Texas in the Dallas area, the Texas Rangers. I call it a very Rangers blue. I also have a mixture from Country Chic also that I worked on a couple of months ago from Hurricane and Licorice and this one bottom is not very it's a deep gray uh, with blue undertones and I'm gonna be working on that and then I'm gonna also be using uh, crinoline which is one of their whites it's beautiful and it goes with everything it's gonna this is gonna make my life real easy to blend um, all three colors so I can go lighter or darker whatever I choose to go with it's gonna be beautiful let's get started this paint is super thick and then the other one was super thin. So since Starstruck is going to be kind of the star here, um, or this is the main color that I want to highlight, I'm gonna have a little bit more than that one. Look how thick the white one is. Look at it in the can. It's been that, it's that thick since I, I have had it for some time. This is a mixture of two colors. Um, hurricane and licorice also by country chic and it's a very deep gray color but it has a lot of blue undertones and I love it and I hope in my vision in my head <laughs> this is going to work very well so let's just see I'm going to start with the base of mess oh my goodness have i ever told you guys how messy i am as a painter and when it comes to blending i'm even messier anyways i think i just have more fun so i'm basically stippling all of this as you can see this is exactly what i had done before also um with just a mixture but that's the same method that I'm going to use because I want to give this a little bit of texture and all of that good stuff so that's what I'm doing start like that I'll probably do two um, coats of the base to make sure that it covers the lighter paint very very well and then um, do my blending however I'm gonna go so um, a couple of years back I actually developed a uh, paint uh, what do I call it like uh, I just had a way of doing my some of my blendings and I called it clouds because that's exactly what it looked like because I used a lot of grays and blues and white and it looked literally like everything was in the clouds so i think i'm going to kind of use the same right now Oh, 
coat number one is done so now I allow it to dry and come back to it do coat number two and then we blend be back I'm going to show you here what I would call a normal blending and that is where the three colors will blend into each other here especially the two colors that are uh, touching each other so the white and the blue and then the blue and the black how I would normally blend them to make them um, cohesive and kind of have a shade up and down each one so that they don't look like a harsh line is there between them um, but this is not in the end what I will use for this video or on this piece because I am going to use my cloud method uh, however here you see that by combining a little bit of water with a spritzer and then having the different brushes that you can use and blend the colors one onto the other you achieve a good blend of the three colors or four or five or however many colors you decide to use. And so what you see me do here is basically combine the colors all at once and then come in and highlight with a dark color, a white, and then the blue color and combine the three all over the place. Sometimes I will use more blue, sometimes I will use more white, sometimes I will use the gray black depending on where I want it. Sometimes I will use it into the white. Sometimes I will use it into the blue. But what I'm doing right now is creating a combination of the three colors in a stippling method, which makes it look like clouds, but it at the same time blends it well together. This is where I am y'all. I like it so much better. This is kind of what I want. Without wax, and then I'll do 
and after with wax. Without wax and with I finished it y'all look at it so if y'all remember this is what it looked like before and here it is now starstruck was the perfect color blue that this needed is vibrant and happy and combining it with a combination almost black gray and a white to create my cloud finish on this little piece was exactly what it needed to be done you guys, if you have stayed with me throughout this video, I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for being here. But please don't forget to subscribe, hit that notifications button, and hit likes and leave me a comment. That is how my business continues to grow, and that is how I can push out more content for you. Thank you again so much, and I'll see you next week. Bye.